Hi guys, welcome to this channel. I'm Arman. I animate 3D characters for games. I use Pine 4.0 version, and right now we are looking at a Tracer project that we have animated previously. I will uh, put the link on the screen so you can find uh, the playlist. And according to the results of the poll I've created in the community tab, this video will be about integrating Tracer into Unity. Uh, but before starting, I want to clarify that this is not a video for programmers, uh, rather than it's gonna be inside for spine animators. First, I've created Unity project. I've imported spine runtime here. Every game engine has its own runtime. So basically those are the codes that understand spine exports. Okay, now let's create the scene like basic scene where our character can walk and we can paste it for that i will right click here create 3d object and let's start from a cube this will be our ground object and let's let's keep it this way and now let's go back to spine export it i've already uh, moved it into the project file the export path I hit export and I can come back to unity and in unity resources tracer we can find three files that are very familiar with the atlas file the json file and the png file this we know and the other three are generated by unity material atlas assets and of course skeleton data this one we can drag into our scene when we drag it, it have it shows up three options: skeleton animation, UI, and skeleton mechanism. We will be using skeleton animation. This is the default one. This, the bottom one, as it shows, it's made for UI purposes, like showing uh, spine objects in shop um, or in user interface in, in general. We don't need to know about more. And mechanism is um, similar to skeleton animation, but it uses Unity. A built in mechanism system. So we will go with skeleton animation. As soon as we click on it, it shows up our character. Let's position it here and see what we got here. Let's click play and see what we will uh, have in game view. This is exactly the same as you would see on mobile devices. So nothing happens. We are in play mode and nothing happens. Character is still and no animation is playing. But if we select the character and come here, we will see that animation is set to none by default. So we will need to change it. But before changing, we need to stop the player. Now let's change to idle and play back. We can see now it animates. So the next thing we need to tell Unity when to play idle and when to play walk. Obviously, we need to play walk when character is moving. So for that, we will need to write a little bit code. So for hitting keyboard buttons, character actually moves. So when it starts move, we will just play walk animation. And when it stops, the speed becomes zero. We will play idle animation. So for that, I will select the object in hierarchy and add a component built in. Ah, sorry. Character controller that is built in component of Unity. We can see right away a green capsule collider appears that will collide with the environment and other objects that have uh, colliders on them. And let's actually adjust it to match our character. I have already copied values. Let me pass the component values here. And uh, right now nothing will happen, just character will uh, behave exactly the same. So we need some little code to be able to uh, transform input values of keyboard into the character uh, component uh, controller. So we will take those, we will um, do some calculations and um, move the character using character controller. For that I have already made a script called locomotion and it has speed value you can see we can change it but let's let's see it I, I don't want to go more details explaining coding because i'm not sure if i did it uh, like properly or not. it just works here so basically we have a bunch of properties here that um, character controller and spine animation we take at the start we take two uh, components to, to work with 
skeleton animation that helps us to play animation here and do the scale and character controller that actually we needed to move the character but to give velocity it we need to actually calculate before that so we take the value from input axis input get axis horizontal means we will uh, take the value from left and right uh, of the keyboard value or like console value doesn't matter just input so later we do the calculations considering physics and we just move it after that we check if the edge axis that we got from here is zero we play idle anime we we set this state to idle and if it's other than zero we set to walk and we check if the state is the same we do nothing and if it's not it's changed we just play the new state on track zero with true with loop true and that's it and if we see that this value is less than zero we flip the character let's go back and play let's see what we have now let's hit the right button and see our character is moving it's slow let's move left and it flips moves left let's adjust the speed value here i already know that eight value works best let's after that come and hit play cool our character is working and now since I have more time, I will add some obstacles here to see how our character will go over them. Okay, let's add uh, another platform by duplicating ground. Let's rotate it and scale it down, scale it more, rotate it more. Let's make it very difficult. Now let's play it and before walking, I would go and select the object so you can see how um, gliders are interacting now gliders is grounded on the main floor and the moment it reaches the other platform it will slide over it up it's cool it works but we see the feet are inside the ground we don't need this if it's possible we would like to see the feet up here uh, along with the idle and other animations so we can combine it by using ground constraints component let's go back select this object and uh, to be able to add that component we need fit to be spawned inside the root bone to spawn them we need a skeleton utility component that comes with the spine sometimes for unity we spawn it we have some options and we can spawn a whole hierarchy here all bones Let, let's see it you can see that all objects are being created here exactly the same hierarchy and you would see a spine but we don't need this we need only uh, bones up until the feet bones so that would be let's start from the root bone i will go with follow uh, we'll explain that in a moment and here as soon as i have root bone i will go and create a next one children bone up until to the feet bone now i select the children bone and create leg now let's go back to character bone and create another leg so we have both legs here if we move them nothing will happen because the animation position initial position controls it but if we change from follow to override this time we will be able to move the feet this works exactly as uh, in spy and i keys but we don't need this we need it to combine with follow mode, but add um, ground constraint. Where is it? There we go. Okay, we have it. We can see white lines that helps us to do some modifications. Before doing it, we need to specify what, what layer is ground that we need to uh, do the calculation so it's on default layer you can see that all the grounds are on default layer the moment we specify it we can move and it will actually uh, move the feeds i think we have a problem here L let me actually see that yeah let, let me see and we'll be quickly back Okay, after going uh, back to Spine and back to Unity, I figured out that the issue was uh, in um, 
bit separated axis here uh, we, we animated them by checking this checkbox that would separate those two timelines so we can have more uh, control over the working cycle but this was um, confusing unity i don't know if it's bug or anyway so let's let's fix it quickly so i created another animation here copied the pose that were feet were con contacting the ground and disabled the, the separation of translate exported it and back in unity if we change this to a uh, new animation that I created work well, this is basically a pause and we can select the feed and do do let, let's let's actually move this platform so you can see now it works properly the red section of the lens indicates that where the IT wants to be actually um, since this ground blocks them to go there it it is actually what we want so let's move the ground back and adjust the leg so we don't want to see the red portion because we consider that character is fully planted on this ground for that let's offset them until we we just don't see the red red lines cool now we can change back to idle animation where is it and play we we should be able to see her walking properly it's not gonna be perfect but but we can see some difference cool now our character dramatically stands on the cliff i see totally difference you can see that transition is a little slow we can work with that we have some properties to work here like uh, this adjust speed it, if it, it's too high it will instantly snap to the ground without making that transition and here we will finish this video i hope you liked it and if you have any opinion about how should we go next like i don't want to make the unity videos in this channel i just want to uh, make educational about spine and if you think that this was educational let me know in the comments I, it's really hard for me to understand the target audience of this channel and it's it sometimes it's hard to prepare correct uh, content for it so if you have something in mind just share it in the comments and um, yeah that, that's it that will help me to understand who you are and to make better content Thank you for watching. Bye guys.